Buxton with a blast. Deep center field. Oh my. Over the restaurant. Buxton hits his longest home run of the year. That's the seventh longest Twins homer of the season. Why they had this guy bunting in a big situation later, I don't know. I don't know. Twins lose in extras. I don't want to spend too much time on this Twins game. Uh, but Josh Donaldson also homered in the first. These were both in the first inning. Uh, Donaldson hit his 22nd home run of the year. And that's, this was more of a laser beam than a majestic shot like Buxton's. But uh, look at this just controlled violence of Donaldson's swing. Boom. I know a lot of people, when you get a big contract, a lot of people are you're just never going to live up to it. But he, I think he has to me. I mentioned it last night. I'm going to say it again. And uh, before the game, Do Young Park of MLB uh, relays the confirmation that we're not going to see Taylor Rogers. We're also not going to see Randy Dobnak this year, more than likely. So that's unfortunate. But I want to get to the minor leagues. There's a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Jordan Balazovic. Six no-hit innings. He did give up a run on, it was a walk, a stolen base, and then a wild pitch, and then a ground out scored the run. So that's how you score a run without giving up a hit. Uh, but again, six no-hit innings, walked two batters, struck out five. Very encouraging. He's been a little bit hit and miss of late. And let's and go to Tim Grubb. And pitch, chased a pitch up and out of the zone, and Belasovic, 96, gets him to chase one up and away. And the one ball, no strike pitch, going to be a little roller right side. This could do it as picking it up. First baseman throws it over the head. Martin is on his way to second. A run is in. And the wind surge may be able to try to get another run here. They're going to throw home. Everybody's safe. And you get two runs as the Naturals defense has crumbled in front of us. Back and forth. Martin still is avoided. He's still safe. Austin Martin making stuff happen. Aaron Whitefield scored from first base on that play. Tim Grubbs, the Wichita play-by-play guy. We're going to hear some more of him. I just love him. But Trey Cabbage, he hits his 26th home run of the season here in 101 games in the minor leagues. Just massive power out of him this season. Uh, again, back to With Tim. With a kid's here. day. Pitch to Cabbage. Hammered. See you later. And it's off the building out of bounce. 111 miles per hour. That's a way to bust out of a slump tray. Two run blast. Absolutely annihilated. Touch them all. How about that for a home run call? Cabbage, the Twins are going to add this, have to add this guy to the 40 man roster or they're going to lose him to the Rule 5 draft. 24 years old, former fourth round pick of 2015. Really breaking out this year. So fun to see. Uh, going to the Cedar Rapids game, this is what the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers were wearing. I guess they were the Brats tonight, wearing Lederhosen. I love these. I knew I had to mention them before. Somebody would ask about them if I didn't. Uh, but check this out. This is in the first inning with two down. Matt Walner's down 0-2, and so much power. This guy, this isn't even that good of a looking swing. Just kind of puts his bat down there, and this thing flies out. Just a big, strong guy. And that, you're going to see a lot of big, strong guys hitting the ball hard from Seattle Rapids in these highlights. Again, this was Matt Walner, his third home run in his last four games. Uh, one of those was a grand slam, as we saw a couple days ago. So he's hot. Uh, the definition of hot is Aaron Sabato right now. Here he is. They went back to back. So this is the very next hitter in the first inning. Sabato hits this one. I guess it landed it right next to his face on that video board up there. So just an absolute bomb. Sabato, when he's making contact, his power is enormous. Uh, just destroy. And he, you know, he, he, he doesn't have that violent of a looking swing. You know, speaking of violent swings. Later on, tie game in the ninth inning. Sabato does it again. A two-run home run way out of here in the center field. And the Colonels went back-to-back -back again because this time it was the guy after him. He followed Walner in the first inning to go back-to-back. -back. This time it was Alex Isola following Sabato. This is a bomb from <laughs> Alex Isola. And this was his second home run of the game as well. So Alex Isola, former 29th round pick in 2019, hit his 16th and 17th home runs. He's a catcher. He also entered tonight with a 352 OBP. Uh, so definitely got to get on your radar. And as a 29th round pick, I mean, he, making it this far is kind of noteworthy at all. But certainly a guy emerging and showing for himself uh, that he's a guy to keep an eye on. Big, strong fella, too. Kate Povich, the Twins' third round pick this year for, uh, excuse me, Fort Myers. 
There you see his line pitched it very well in his second start for them. Five strikeouts and three innings, zero runs. Thank you for watching. We're doing this every day. So come on back tomorrow. Consider subscribing for more Twins Talk here on YouTube.